Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Zhang Qingqing. Uh, I'm the founder and the CEO of Magic Data Technology. And uh, it's my honor to share uh, Magic Data's information here. And the Magic Data is the global AI data uh, solution provider for a web uh, developer. And we we'll believe that uh, uh, we use our effort to let the AI developer use data uh, effectively and safely. And uh, today my uh, uh, report, the name is the Multilingual Conversational AI Technology and Data Set. Okay, so first of all, one of the major trends for the AI industry currently is the widespread application of uh, conversational AI. And we summarize them into five uh, many categories. The in-car conversational system, the communication smart home, AI for conversational financial services, for the health industry, and for social networks. What is conversational AI? It mainly includes three sessions, automatic speech recognition to take audio speech as input with a series of signal processing techniques such as feature extraction, acoustic modeling, and the language modeling. Probably with the help of a dictionary to transcribe the speech into text. Then we use natural language understanding to process the text. And finally, we synthesize the generated text into audio speech. This is why the robot can have conversation with us. Of course, our machines are still not smart enough to communicate with people. And the conversational speech interaction is still a major challenge to speech recognition. This is due to the lack of natural conversational speech data set. Um, such features include interruption, overlapping, uh, inversion, hesitation, and so on. And we want to uh, tackle these problems. Although code switching and the code mixing are common due to the globalization, this means in our daily life, in business setting, and in terms of the vertical technique communications, we may use more than one language in the conversation. For example, we might say, NBA看了吗? which means, did you watch the TV yesterday? There are all comma increasing and different problems for ASR systems. More specifically, to build a multilingual ASR system, the recognition of the embedded non-native language and the pronunciation is the key here. So here we come to ask how to improve the performance of bilingual ASR system in terms of modeling acoustic information. And in our opinion, first and foremost, we need to model lexicon and acoustic information of the mixed languages. To build a code mixing lexicon, many we need to integrate the original and the embedded language into one lexicon. Normally, a scheme for solving the issue can be built lexicon in corresponding phoneme respectively, then combine the lexicon together. In this way, we can make sure of the lexicon at hand. Yet this method is also computational expensive for the acoustic models. On the other hand, Magic Data would recommend to build a united lexicon by mapping phonemes of different languages into one lexicon. Then to build the lexicon on united phoneme. The advantage of this method is that the transfer rate becomes more manageable, although expert knowledge or statistic analysis is needed for build the uni uh, united phonemes. And if you want to know more about our unity phoneme lexicon, 
please ask uh, Magic Data, and we want to share more information uh, with you. Okay, so for instance, here is the result of the models trained on our collected data set. So here we give you an example about the Indonesia speech recognition. And as we know, Indonesia language is a code mixing language. Uh, we have many English words in the uh, Indonesia uh, languages. So uh, we here we have the comparison about the two lexicon. First line is only for Indonesia part. That means that all the phoneme is only for Indonesia uh, words. And the, the second line is we put the uh, English phoneme into the Indonesia form and we uh, combine these two phoneme together uh, with the un united phoneme mapping way. And here we can have, when we put the English part into the lexicon, we have a significant improvement about the word error rate. Okay. So also uh, we have uh, another two uh, experiment. One is from the Chinese to Shanghai uh, dialect. And the second is from English to French. Okay. so. Uh, here is the multilingual transfer learning experiment. Okay, so uh, here, the first uh, experiment, we test the speech recognition for Shanghai dialect. Okay, so we can say when we only use the Chinese uh, training data set, and we use this model to test the, the shanghai -ness. of course, the word error is very high. And we put the Shanghai dialect uh, uh, into the Chinese training data set, we use the transfer learning way, okay? So then also we tested the, the Shanghai dialect, we can have the significant improvement. Also for English and French, it's the same way. And we can say that if we use the united form uh, mapping way that we can put all the languages into uh, one model and we call them the global form way. So we believe multilingual conversation AI is the trend of the industry, although there are many difficulties. So here we call for more AI developer to join our research to reconstruct the Tower of Babel. <laughs>